Hello, American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and in tonight's episode, this is a special one. We'll be looking at AI-created concept cars, which I designed through AI based on modern, vintage, and classic cars. These concept cars were designed for subscribers for this channel that requested if I could design one for them. So that's what I did. In tonight's video, I will be showcasing those 10 designed concept cars using AI, including classic, antique, and modern custom cars. For fun, I've also created fictional backstories for each car, which I will present that along with the AI designed cars. For subscribers who requested an AI car, if you don't see yours featured tonight, it will likely be presented in one of the next two upcoming videos. During tonight's presentation, you'll see the subscriber's name, followed by the car designed for them and their fictional backstory. So if you're ready, let's get into this video and check out these AI-created cars. Troy Duke, an early automotive designer for Ford Motor Company, resigned from Ford in 1946 to start his own automotive production company. His cars were produced on a limited basis, were all hand-built, and strictly sold to celebrities, high-ranking officials, and multimillionaires. One such car that has survived today can be found in the Duke Automotive Museum is this 1949 Model 3D. It is powered by Duke flathead 8-cylinder engine and an automatic transmission. This car espouses luxury comfort and driving for its owner. These cars are rare and are mostly held in private collections, but when one does pop up, it has an estimated restored value of around $80,000. Pappy, a well-known automotive designer who was working for the Tucker Corporation at the time of its collapse in 1948, left there and then decided to build his own car using leftover body parts from the 1948 Tucker Automobile Factory, combined with body parts from a 48 Cadillac and a 48 Packard, and built this one-of-a-kind amazing 1950 Pappy 3000 Model 100 there in his home garage in Detroit. Considered to be one of the earliest known customized cars ever built, it was discovered in a barn by his great-great-grandson and then fully restored back to its original condition and now rests in the Smithsonian Institute and has an estimated value of around $100,000. Tim Miller, a modern custom car designer who is influenced heavily by the car designs of the 1950s, decided in 2021 to build his own 1950s-style custom car called the 1952 Miller Convertible. Body parts barred heavily from the 52 Chevrolet and 52 Pontiac make up the base for this car, after which Tim refitted and redesigned everything into his own custom work and unique one-of-a-kind vehicle. Displayed this week at the Detroit Custom Auto Show, it has an estimated value of around $60,000. Now, if you happen to be looking for a real classic dream car, then I advise you to check out these last four videos that I dropped within the last week or two. There are still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale, and who knows, you just might find your car in one of these videos. Wild and crazy custom car designer Benny Bugenheimer outdid himself this week with a display of his wild custom car Vetamino at the Detroit Custom Car Show. This is a one-of-a-kind custom car that features the front end of a 1967 Corvette with a modified El Camino-type custom bed on the back. Features include removable T-tops and a custom ribbed bed cover that can be raised to allow access to that compartment. This car went on to receive the People's Choice Award and is estimated at a value of $120,000. Receiving multiple awards at any car show, this coupe attends, it is proudly owned by the famous car collector Juan Yankees. He lovingly nicknamed this car the Red Thunder, and he customized this car over a two-year period. He started with the body of a 1936 Ford Coupe, then added his own touches such as a 4-inch channeled body, a 4-inch chopped top, and customized fender headlights. It is powered by a 351 Cleveland engine and automatic transmission, and the Red Thunder has an estimated value of around $60,000. Just in time for the International Custom Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, the Agniska Mokzadlo Custom Car Corporation has completed the build of their wild and crazy custom show bus entitled the Too Cool Bus, 
which features a custom-built 1938 International School Bus made into a super cool double-decker school bus. The original bus top was chopped 4 inches and then a 1954 Chevy school bus top body was welded into the top. It is powered by a Chrysler 426 Hemi engine and the driver drives from the top section. It is expected to win best of show and has an estimated value of $120,000. Master Hollywood prop designer Jim Fox displayed the movie prop car for the next upcoming Mad Max movie entitled Mad Max Highway of Death. The name of this car is the Max Stang and is a vintage 1968 Mustang that has been converted to an apocalyptic road warrior vehicle. All the glass and interior were removed and a roll cage and driver's seat was installed for driver's safety. The 302 engine has received a blower and a nitrous oxide setup. It was painted military green and a twin mortar launcher was added to the roof for use during the attack scenes. Estimated value of this car is at $125,000. It is one of the Jim's favorite builds. Don't worry, we still got three more cars to showcase. Just want to stop and say if you like this channel, then I invite you to come join us. Please subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends about this channel. I think they'll find it entertaining and fun as well. We'd love to have you as a member. Mary Dilly, heiress to the Dilly Automotive Fortune, just recently received her great-grandfather's restored 1929 Dilly Model M two-door sedan. The Dilly Automotive plant was founded in Detroit in 1927 by her great-great-grandfather, M. Dilly III. The car was the first car to roll off the production line at the plant and is serial number 001. It is powered by a Dilly M model four-cylinder engine and has been restored back with gloss black lacquer paint and all the brass options like it originally came from the factory with. Estimated value on this car is at $200,000. Larry Hogan, chief head designer at Ford Motor Company, recently released to the public pictures of a 2025 Torino concept car based on the original 1970 model. Ford, which has had much of the same success with their retro-looking Mustang line, will do the same with a Torino and will introduce this 1970 styled 2025 Torino model later in the fall of next year. It will come standard with an upgrade in turbocharged 315 horsepower 2.3 liter four-cylinder engine with a 350 pound-feet of torque. This very first concept car has an estimated value of $100,000. Off-road enthusiast Stephen Wells recently won Best of Show in the Off-Road Vehicle category for his customized 1970 International Scout Harvester. The drivetrain was restored to original condition while the body trim was removed and any chrome was blackened out. It also received such modifications as a custom grille and a custom front bumper and along with a gunmetal gray paint job. A custom black leather interior and matching black rims rounded out the package. Stephen built this Scout as a tribute to his father. Estimated value of this Scout is at $60,000. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our AI concept cars for this episode. We've got more coming in future episodes, so be sure to stay tuned. And if this is the first time you're tuning into this channel, we'd just like to say, please check out some of these other videos. I think you're going to find that this channel is very fun, and I think you'll enjoy being a part of it. I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video.